Welcome to SiteBento. In this tutorial, we will cover the image management and image editing system that's available inside your SiteBento solution. Our product offer includes an advanced What You See is What You Get editor that extends the capability of the Joomla core system beyond, uh, far beyond what's available in the normal system. To begin using the system, simply go into your website and log in as an administrator. You'll have the Edit button to edit your existing articles. Click that and you'll be given the What You See is What You Get editor. The most important feature is the Insert Edit Image button, which is where this entire tutorial is focused on. Once you click, you'll be given an Advanced Image Manager window that allows you to manage existing images, insert them into the article, as well as upload new ones. Let's begin by uploading an, an image into the system. We do so by clicking the Upload button. We choose to add a file. We're going to go to our desktop and upload one of our available images. You can do multiple images at once. You browse and add each one to the list and finally hit upload. You'll see the images move into the site. Upon completion you can cancel the uploader. Now we have the ability to insert the new image into the website. You do so by clicking on the image. You will notice the URL complete as well as the alternate text. That is very important. If you fail to do so, you will not be able to insert the image. We can change its dimensions, which we're not going to do because the image is already properly sized. When working with images, it is in your best interest to have them sized correctly before they go to the website. Even though you can change the dimensions inside the web browser, you cannot expect it to have absolute um, effect, absolute correct effect across all the different web browsers out there and for all the different users. It's possible for an image to have proportions set to only be, let's say, 200 pixels by 200 pixels. But if the image is much larger, in some cases the user may not see that correctly and it will overtake the content. So be sure to use all of your image editing tools and really upload your images in their perfect condition so that you don't have to worry about that. The changing the dimensions is really there if you absolutely need it to adjust a small setting and not really to do grand scale changes. Not to mention, large files are also big in size and they take longer to load and take away from your site performance. Another incredibly useful feature is the alignment. Alignment allows you, to allows you to position the content, or the images, within your paragraphs. You have to start by making sure the cursor is in the right place where you want the image, and then you change the alignment according to the five different positions available. You can see the behavior using the preview option to the right of the screen. Every time you make a change, it shows you how your image will be positioned in reference to the text. The next useful feature is the margin. The margins would allow you to separate space between the image and the text or any other uh, piece of content on the article. As you can see here, for example, the text is immediately lined up to the image. By increasing the margins 10 pixels, we separate the space out a little bit, and now it becomes um, positioned a little nicer within the site. 10 pixels is usually a good amount of space to, um, to use as a margin, and you can use equal values all around, or you may choose to get a little picky and only add the 10 pixels to where it's absolutely needed. So for example, we would want to add it to the right and to the bottom, but not necessarily to the top and to the left. This way, the text is flush with the image with some space between, but then the image is nicely aligned with the rest of the page. There are other features available here, but none of those really matter that much. This is everything you absolutely need to position your images nicely within the system. When you're done with everything, just hit the insert button, and you'll see the image appear right in your article. You can also edit um, existing images using the same button. So you, what you would do is you would click on the image. And let's just say we want to increase the margin here because the text is a little too close. We can click on the image of the samurai here and hit the image edit button, uncheck equal values, and add a 10 pixel bottom margin and hit update. We've just increased the space a little bit, hopefully made it look a little bit better on the page. Once our editing is complete, all we have to do is hit save on the article and the image becomes part of the site. Now this is only for test purposes. I don't really want the image there. I'm going to go in and actually delete it. To delete an image, click on it and hit the delete button on your keyboard and possibly fix any spatial issues that might have arisen. This completes our site bento presentation. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.